signed up space in the Station North Arts and Entertainment District with Wendell Patrick, hip hop, jazz, and electronica music composer who teaches music theory, recording, and piano at Loyola University in Maryland. He's also the person who gave us our wonderful new theme song from his CD, Forthcoming. And Eric Spangler, better known as DJ Double Eight, an Oberlin Conservatory trained Harvard PhD electronic musician and composer interested in exploring musical hybrids, blending samples from his own concert hall pieces with rhythmic frameworks that invite physical participation. He is also an adjunct faculty member at MICA. Together, they are the Baltimore Boom Bap Society. Thanks for being with us today. Thank Thanks for having us. How did the two of you meet? Um, well, we actually met here uh, at the Wind Up Space um, on a performance of the uh, Out of Your Head Collective, which is an improvised collective um, of musicians from various backgrounds. And we were put together um, just in a group on one night, and that was the first time we met. First time we played together, the first time we met. What is the Baltimore Boom Bap Society? Baltimore Boom Bap Society is a collective for improvised hip hop while also bringing in other forms of music into the mix. What encouraged you to start this collective? Well, I think we both, um, you know, have been listening to hip hop for, I mean, since we were kids, really. And when we first met, I don't think we really knew that we had that in common. Hmm. Um, but uh, we were talking one day, uh, actually after the Artscape Festival, and Eric mentioned to me, you know, he said, you know, what do you think about us sort of putting this thing together with, other musicians and you know do you think it could work and uh, I think it was just within um, like a two block like we were walk we walked like two blocks and I think at, at the end of the two blocks we had sort of an idea for a name and uh, so yeah so just yeah, where did the name come from um, well boom bap is like the original hip-hop and um, I don't know, yeah, I, I like alliterative names you know <laughs> Baltimore boom bap so. okay, so kind of flowed. <laughs> all right yeah. So why do you think Baltimore is a fertile space for this? Well, uh, I think we've both been a part of the hip-hop community for, for several years and, um, and had both come into contact with a lot of different uh, performers, MCs, um, musicians, uh, producers of, um, of hip-hop who do it sort of in different styles. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also just uh, musicians uh, you know, classical musicians, jazz musicians who, who also have an interest and of course hip-hop draws from, from all these things mm -hmm. and um, we just thought it would be good to try to put that sort of idea into a, a live format. How do you select the people who actually perform with you? Well, first of all we find uh, artists that we like, whose music that we like and um, try to find combinations of people that we think would be interesting who, who don't normally perform together and where there's uh, you know, a real creative mix bringing in some uh, different styles of music, um, such as you know, Jackie Paula, uh, classical harpist, uh, along with beatboxer, and so on. We try to represent also a lot of different currents of hip hop, a lot of different elements together. Mm -hmm. And eventually we'd like to have breakers and graffiti artists as well. That sounds really neat. You're both college professors with formal music training. How does that influence the work that you create with the Baltimore Boom Bap Society, Wendell? Well, um, I think my formal training helps uh, in the sense that all music is based on the same general principles, mm. and having listened to and connected to uh, with connected with hip hop uh, since I was a little child, I sort of have a, a, a good idea of how those principles affect the music. And so, in terms of impro improvising, uh, it makes it a lot easier to make quick decisions when I hear what DJ Double Eight or other musicians are doing to make quick decisions um, to adjust. Mm. DJ Double Eight. Um, well, I'd say in a lot of my choices for sampling, I'm using um, fragments from my own music as well as you know, other music that inspires me, coming from a wide variety of traditions. Um, and uh, basically, um, you know, I try to expand on the, the conventional forms of hip hop and like, bring some other rhythmic elements into it as well. Where do you perform and how often do you perform? So we perform at the Wind Up Space, um, which is on North Avenue in downtown Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And uh, we perform monthly. What other types of artists would you like to perform with in the future? Well, we want to continue to widen the circle of the local hip hop scene and bring more and more people into it, um, as well as um, expand the instrumentation that we're using. So we might start using larger ensembles, mm -hmm. have a mix of uh, original arrangements for the ensembles, as well as improv. How can people get in contact with you all? 
Well, there's a Boom Bap Society Facebook page. Um, that's probably the best way. I think, you know, at this point, so many people are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if anybody wants to get in contact with us or write something about it, uh, you know, you can contact either Eric or myself uh, at the Facebook page. That's the best way. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And we're going to get a performance from you guys today as well, right? Yes. Yes. We look forward to that. And next, a performance from the Baltimore Boom Bap Society. Uh, yeah. I'm a beast, when it's in the illest type form. I bring it to your people in gorilla type form. Different strokes put you in a Willis type form. Top villain when I'm on, use your Jimmy Crack corn. Get your skill level better, you killing it forever. Whenever it never gets played by more, I never highs the sky level what I aim for. Beating me and easy, that ain't what I got my name for. I am mighty hungry with a taste for devouring competition. Death with your careers that ain't dope from the first This in my mission. Rock that crown. Make a little money, get back to the money while I execute quality. Policy devour, I'm deficient in apology. My rap book is looking something like an anthology. Shout out to cease to all who don't recognize you in the Demeanor is a piece, but the rap's so menacing. That energy. So you are Easy Jackson and you are an MC. Yes, ma'am. And you are one of the guest MCs with the Baltimore Boom Bap Society. How long have you been working with this collective? Um, just uh, recently, like a couple months, but I've known uh, Wendell Pat for a long time. I've worked with Double Eight, you know, before um, shows and stuff like that. So it's my first time working with Jackie and Max. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so it's, it's fair. Max, come on around. You know, it's it's really interesting to see folks with such eclectic music backgrounds come together to do this. What makes you want to be a part of a collective of just, you know, musicians who you never know what's going to happen when you perform with them? Um, I would say being able to get new ideas. Mm -hmm. like where do new ideas come from? Mm -hmm. And for me, you know, being, a, being an artist, it's kind of like currency. Like I need new ideas constantly. It's like air. You need it to breathe. Yeah, that's true. And so there's no, no better way than working with people you don't know. But now we kind of know each other, so right. it's getting messed up. Oh. <laughs> you know, the last time I was in the presence of a harpist was at a wedding in Princeton, New Jersey. So why would a harpist want to be a part of a collective like the Baltimore Boom Bath Society? Because it's something different to do. I mean, I play a lot of classical music, and I love that. But uh, when Eric asked me if I was interested, I was really excited to get to do something different that I don't normally do and approach music from a different angle. What kind of energy do you get from the crowds that come to the shows? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm thinking about the crowds as much as I'm thinking about the energy on stage and what we're ah. putting out there. So tell me a little bit about that energy and the synergy that you create with other artists that sometimes you've never really even worked with. Well, I think it's really exciting because there's all these people doing stuff and I'm not even, I don't know that much about uh, DJs or anything, so sometimes I'm just wondering what on earth they're doing with their instruments. Um, and then I think together, it's fun because you're creating something that's both individual and collective at the same time. Right. When I, I watch all of you perform, because I've come to um, one of your performances, I can kind of see the process where you're kind of like thinking, where is this person going and how does my instrument fit into that? And I can kind of see the machinations of that. But it's a really enjoyable performance to watch. So Jackie Ploff, thank you so much. All right, thank you. What 
are you doing here? Because when I grew up, DJing was a turntable and maybe somebody scratching. So what is all of this equipment and what are you creating? So this is a controller uh, mm -hmm. for software. It's modeled on the two turntables and a mixer. So you have... Um, so this is the two turntables? Right, and, and the mixer the section. Between. Okay. But it also allows a lot of possibilities that weren't uh, possible with just turntables and a mixer, such as control of effects and live looping on the, on the spot. Um, plus, you know, the whole digital library of right. sounds. So. Okay. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. And then we got Wendell Pat. He's doing something similar as well, correct? <laughs> Wendell, tell me what this is and how this is different from what DJ Double Eight does. Well, this is quite similar to what DJ Double Eight does. I have a controller as well. Uh, this is the controller here, and it. Um, and it goes to a computer. It goes to the computer, affects mm -hmm. uh, the software there. And then I have, this is an effects processor. Okay. And so the audio that goes through here is affected when you touch the screen. Okay, so this is like the two term tables and then the controller here. You're getting your music from here, and then you have uh, additional effects that can happen there. So sure. tell, show us some of the effects if you can. Sure. So if this is playing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wow. Ah, interesting. So that complements the rest of the flow. Yes, there's lots of different ways of essentially affecting the sound. And so depending on what the other musicians are doing, then I make a decision in terms of what to do that would either complement them or, or lead us in a, a different direction. That's really cool. Thanks. Yes, it is. The Baltimore Boom Bap Society, MC Easy Jackson, DJ Double A, Max Beats on Beatbox, Wendell Patrick, and Jackie Pollock on the harp. Enjoy. The gas that be giving you trouble to breathe breath The faster they image a thug they accept The faster they find that you more of a pink breast I'm a beef cake, beef cake, put it on your knees plate On a microphone I'm getting funky like a cheesesteak If they're with the rhythm it don't matter what you chat it Did it be you see it really what battle hall of avenue Around the world and I'm back again Same shades of the ways with the frames that change I ain't ballin' but it's news doing worse than I'm years And I don't go to church but I do pay homage Following all these words what it is what it is Cause that's so real Yo, it is what it is So on this green earth I live for my kids And do it to death Y'all know what the piss is The piss needs Give it to them Deliver all energy to them Kimber might sound so nice Uh That water will go back Remember, we the people of Baltimore possess all we need to make our city thrive. With every thought, word, and action, each of us has the power to create the city we want. With this power, I hope you will always choose to amplify Baltimore.